Batteries today after flames consumed this Mansfield gas station. Yeah, the fire destroying the building, shutting down local streets for hours. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in Mansfield with what fire officials say happened. Kim. Well, Mike and Steve, that's right. The fire chief here in Mansfield describing that victim's injuries as life threatening. Let me step out of the way here and give you a look at the damage. We're here at the corner of Pratt and Hope Street. Traffic on Pratt Street is now moving freely, but part of Hope Street here is still closed. We're at the Cannon Fuels gas station, and as you can see, it has now been completely gutted by this fire. A chemical fueled fire destroys a Mansfield gas station Wednesday afternoon. I heard explosions, gas explosions, pretty loud. And uh, just as I say, the, fl the, fl the flames coming over the top of the building really high and stuff like that. It was, it was, it was, it was a very intense fire. Like dynamite um, every time it happens. The windows, like the first time it was the windows, the windows all crashed out. Yeah, we had a significant fire uh, that sadly resulted in one injury. Mansfield's fire chief says the victim was inside the building at the time. A co-worker tells Eyewitness News he was a head mechanic at the shop welding a 55-gallon drum of alcohol-based windshield wiper fluid when that tank exploded, engulfing him in flames. The man was on fire from his boxers to his chest. That gentleman was med flighted to uh, Boston, and uh, we are unknown on his status at this time. Fire officials managed to keep the flames away from the gas pumps and tanks, but they say combustible materials inside the shop all went up. The gasoline, the ties themselves will explode uh, from the vehicles. You have uh, acetylene, you have oxygen. A really scary, upsetting, powerless situation. And back here live, you can see that this fire just completely destroyed that building as well, of a, as well as a car that was parked outside. But the flames did not reach those fuel pumps here at the Cannon Fuels gas station. Again, we're at the corner of Pratt and Hope Street. Part of Hope Street is still closed, but traffic on Pratt Street is now moving freely. Coming up new at 6, we'll speak with a worker from this gas station who says he was right next to the man who was hurt today when the explosion happened. We'll bring you that new next hour. For now, reporting live in Mansfield, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. News now, a gas station worker is in the hospital with life-threatening burns after an explosion and fire in Mansfield. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke to a co-worker who was next to the injured man. She joins us now live from Mansfield with the latest. Kim? Well, Mike and Steve, as you said, that victim tonight is recovering in a Boston hospital. Let me get out of the way here so you can take a look at the damage. We're at the corner of Pratt and Hope Streets in Mansfield. Both are now back open to traffic after being closed for many hours this afternoon. You can see the damage to Cannon Fuels gas station completely gutted by that fire. A man with life-threatening injuries after a fire at a Mansfield gas station. I heard explosions, gas explosions, pretty loud. And uh, just as I say, the, fl the, fl the flames coming over the top of the building, really high and stuff like that. It was, it was, it was, it was a very intense fire. Like dynamite um, every time it happens. The windows, like the first time it was the windows, the windows all crashed out. Mansfield's fire chief says one man was hurt. We spoke with Christopher Matrano, an employee of the station, who says he was right next to that man who was welding a 55-gallon drum of windshield fluid. The uh, drum exploded. Uh, causing, causing um, one of the head mechanics uh, to be engulfed in flames. Yeah, so we got 85% uh, of his body burned. So all prayers are with him right now. Witnesses say co-workers and the store's owner rushed to put out those flames. The man was on fire from his boxers to his chest. The man was taken by medical helicopter to a Boston hospital. His current condition is unknown. And again, fire officials here on scene earlier today telling us that that man has life-threatening injuries. Now, although his co-worker told us that the fire started because of that welding on that drum containing windshield wiper fluid, fire officials tell us the official cause of this blaze is still under investigation tonight. Reporting live in Mansfield, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.